Despite a storied career in politics, Sonny Perdue feels right at home here. He grew up on a farm in middle Georgia where he fed calves, mowed fields, and baled hay. Like a growing season, you could say the 71-year-old has come full circle. I can remember being in the hay fields uh, as a 10 and 12-year-old and working until 5 o'clock and then going to put on my little league uniform and go play games. It was around that time in his life when he invited Jesus into his heart while attending Bon Air Baptist Church. My mother may have known I thought I was perfect, but God knew I wasn't. So uh, he knew that I was uh, sinful just like every other person born and I needed a savior. And uh, I, at 11 years old, I recognized that and submitted to uh, to that uh, need of uh, someone to pay for my sins. In Georgia, Purdue is a political legend. After leading the state Senate as a Democrat, he became a Republican and then against all odds, won the governor's mansion, becoming the first Republican governor of Georgia since reconstruction. And through it all, he's not shied away from his Christian faith, even asking reporters. If you read the uh, Sermon on the Mount, if you read the qualities of love, joy, peace, compassion, uh, patience, those kind of things. What are those qualities that disqualify someone for governing? We as Christians have failed to live the Christian life. That's why people worry when we get into office because sometimes we're no different. But when we're li really literally living the Christian life, uh, that's the best form of government you can have. One year into the job, he's already visited nearly 40 states. Hello there, how you doing, Brooke? And when the secretary comes to town, it's a pretty big deal. <laughs> Despite the many important roles it plays, like regulating the food we eat, USDA isn't typically a hot topic in Washington. But the agency recently found itself in the crosshairs of international news when the president took on the trade deficit with China and China retaliated with U.S. farm products on the tip of its spear. President Trump is an interesting negotiator and uh, sometimes uh, uh, leads with a very much aggression, but uh, has an ability to get people's attention. While farmers are anxious over trade disputes, over uh, re uh, renewable fuel standard, ethanol, and those kind of things, labor and issues, they're still some of President Trump's most loyal supporters. Purdue is running with Trump's call to slash federal regulations, putting nearly 30 on the chopping block last fall with more to come. He says red tape is a top complaint among farmers. You have to have a HR director to comply with or a CFO on, on staff to do that. And, and farmers, it's typically a farmer and his wife uh, trying to comply with these regulations and permits and reports and all those kind of things without violating the law. And it's a very thin line to walk sometimes. He caught grief when he recommended replacing food stamps with so-called harvest boxes of non-perishable yeah, goods. Of, uh, that idea was swiftly canned. But he's in favor of tightening work requirements for food stamp recipients, focusing on a hand up over dependency. And he's waded into the immigration debate, using his authority to make the guest worker program more flexible for farmers. We need a legal workforce on farms we don't want people having to live in shadows there. We don't want farmers doing things illegally. He finds himself in an interesting new role as an elder statesman, seasoned Republican, serving in the cabinet of a renegade. Much. He's an interesting so fellow, and uh, he's uh, kind of all business. He, uh, I, What I like to say about him, he is uh, decisive. He uh, knows where he wants to go. He is a sooner rather than later kind of business guy, which I, I understand and I get, but he has the essence of any good, successful leader. Uh, so he, you would think he's totally made up his mind of what he's going to do, but he always has a little back door left open. If you go around, knock on it politely, and give him the facts, he's willing to change his mind. Purdue says he strives to lead as Jesus would. Once a week, he gathers with as many as 10 of his fellow cabinet members to pray and study the Bible, led by Capital Ministries founder, Ralph Drolinger. It's an in-depth. It's, uh, it's not just checking the box. Uh, we actually go through the, uh, the Bible verse by verse, and uh, uh, we challenge ourselves. The main thing we challenge ourselves is taking the Word of God 
and making sure that we are living it, not just talking about it. Jennifer Wishon, CBN News, Washington.